I've been using this uh, 3.0 hub uh, for all my cameras and everything else with it. It completely failed on me. It's currently plugged in right now. Today we're going to go ahead and upgrade this and we'll show you guys what I'm uh, jumping into now. Oh, this is fine. This is kind of like unexpected, mostly because I've used that hub for a long time, but now I'm excited to be upgrading. So I decided to go with the Tobin One. That's a USB-C hub for data transfer. So I think this is going to be a great upgrade for me. So let's go ahead and uh, let's do a quick unboxing and then we're going to go ahead and do like the install and test it all out here. So this is the old one I've used because I like to be able to turn on and off these things, but this is junk that's gone now. So, so let's go ahead and open it up here. Now I like the fact that this is also powered separately too. So it's not just using the power that comes directly in to it. So this is not how it comes boxed by the way. So I've I've unboxed this previously, to be honest with you. So you kind of see, uh, this is pretty much everything you get. And you also get a little user manual in there too with this. So you're going to see that this is kind of nice because it has the USB-C right here. You have two USB-Cs at the top. These are 10 gigabits per second. You have one, two, three, four, five USB-As. Now one of them is going to be 10 gigabits per second. Three or me five, and then you also have a regular USB 2.0, which is the slowest option for you. With it, and right there would be a speeds of 480 megabits per second. Then you have two USB Cs down here with it. So you can do one or the other, it looks like. So then you also have your power, your PDN for your computer. Then you also you have your power, your DCN at the top up here. I'm sure we're gonna go ahead and plug that in too with it, but we do need to go ahead and plug this right here directly in to my USB-C port in the front of my computer, get the highest speed possible, and hopefully get my cameras plugged back in because usually I do a three or four camera setup and I can only do that with a hub. So that's why I'm really, really hoping that this is going to take care of it for us. So let's, uh, yeah, let's head back over the computer and, and do that. Okay, so here we go. So I have my USB-C port available with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and now install my USB-C hub by Tobin One. They have fantastic hubs too. Really, really nice. So let's go ahead and grab my AC plug here. Plug this in my big guy over here. Look at that. We already have some displays going on here. Okay, so I need to move my cameras around here. So I have a couple different cameras previously plugged in. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of change up these speeds here real quick. So I'm gonna put it in a USB-C here camera. This also had an adapter on there too. And then I also have a couple other ones too. I also need to pop in here with it, which is gonna be this one. And I want this here to be the fastest speeds, but you know what, five gigabytes is pretty good. I like the fact that these are all pretty much labeled, ready to go for it. I think that's kind of cool. So hopefully these will be good for that. I can plug in my keyboards in here too. But the other cool thing is if you're gonna go ahead and plug in like fast things that you need, especially for like, a, like external hard drives. This is gonna be great for that. Fantastic for it. So we can kind of see that these are now being connected here. Looks like that my USB A is connected. Don't, I'm having problems with that camera though. Now I'm gonna try to gonna pop this here back on again here. And oh, you know what? I think I have it. I have, I, it's in sleep mode. I think that's why. It might be because it's in sleep mode right now. Yeah, I need to go ahead and enable that with software. Okay, so the other camera that I need here is going to be my other 4K camera. I'm actually, we're gonna go some here as well with it. That's the one I use for my top down. That's enabled now. So I'm my, my side camera, my top down camera. So I'm putting pretty much all my cameras into one USB-C port. And I still have access right here to more USB-C ports if I need to use those with it. And also if I have a laptop also coming in for it too. But right there it is. This is the Tobin One. If you guys wanna check this out yourselves, I have a link down in the description down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.